So today we're going to review how to calculate IV flow rate. So, the rate at which an IV fluid is infused into a patient is called the flow rate. It's important to calculate because different medications have different rates of infusion. Some medications need to be done faster, some medications need to be done slower. And one important thing to remember is all flow rates are calculated in milliliters per hour. So there are three components of the flow rate formula. The first is volume, and this is the amount of fluid that's actually infused into the patient. It's the amount of fluid, not the amount of medication. Also, the next one is time, and that's how long it's being infused into the patient. And then those two are used to get your final flow rate. So this is the flow rate formula. So flow rate flow rate is equal to volume in milliliters over time in hours. These units are extremely important. Volume is always in milliliters and time always in hours. So let's go through a quick example. So the physician orders 1.5 liters of lactate ringer solution to be administered intravenously to your patient over the next 12 hours. So first let's look at this question. What are the variables? First one, volume. The volume is here, 1.5 liters, but we see that it's in liters and we have to get it to milliliters. So we're gonna convert that to milliliters, obviously times 1,000. So we have a total of 1,500 milliliters. Next up, we have the time. So be infused to your patient over the next 12 hours. So time, 12 hours. So 12, I'm just gonna put 12. So we have our volume in milliliters and our time in hours. Always has to be in hours. So we'll take a look at our flow rate formula over here. Volume in milliliters over time in hours. So we're gonna have 1500 divided by 12 hours, so 12. And this is in milliliters, of course. Sorry, it's messy. And that is going to equal 125 milliliters per hour. And Another good thing to do is to double check if that makes sense. Does 125 milliliters per hour make sense? What we can do is multiply our flow rate, so 125 milliliters per hour, by the duration we're doing it, so 12, and then we should get this again, 1500 again. So this, if we backtrack, 125 multiplied by 12, it gets us 1,500. So that's a good way to double check what you're, uh, if you're correct. So the second one. The medication scheduled for your patient include, include Keflex 1.5 grams and 50 milliliter and 50 milliliters of a 5% dextrose solution. According to the pharmacy, this preparation should be administered in 30 minutes. So this question is a little bit more tricky just because there's more information to throw you off. But uh, we, we just keep the same formula. So volume, we have to get the volume once again in milliliters. So going through it, none of this is relevant to us. None of this is relevant. Not even the 1.5 grams, don't let that throw you off. We're just concerned about the volume of liquid being infused and the volume of liquid is 50 milliliters so we're gonna go 50 milliliters once again none of this matters and then according to the pharmacy this preparation should be administered in 30 minutes we got a little bit of a problem here because 30 minutes is not in the correct unit that we have to use for this formula. It needs hours. So how what how many minutes are in an hour? 60. So we have 30 minutes, so that's going to be 30 divided by 60, which is 0.5. 30 minutes is half an hour. 
So it's 0 0.5 hours. Now we go do our formula. So we have 50 milliliters divided by 0 0.5 hours. It's 0 0.5 because it's half an hour. And it always has to be in hours for this formula to work. And that's going to result if you do it, divide 50 divided by 0 0.5, then that's going to equal 100 milliliters per hour. Always, also on a test, good tip, always write the units down or else your uh, prof or teacher, they could mark it wrong and always it's important to know what you're actually calculating so the units are extremely important.